As cyber criminals become more sophisticated and began creating polymorphic and zero-day malware, signature-based detection alone was no longer enough. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about antiviruses, specifically those that use machine learning as part of their kit. Now, you've heard this term machine learning a lot. And most of the time, it's associated with the best antiviruses out there. But how does it actually work? And why do most reputable antivirus programs nowadays use such a system? Well, I'll be answering all these questions and more in this video. But before we get into that, if you happen to be looking for antiviruses that actually uses machine learning, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts, so make sure to check those out. All right, so before we get into the specifics of how antiviruses use machine learning, it's important to understand the evolution of antivirus software. In the early days of computing, antivirus tools mainly relied on signature-based detection. They compared files against a database of known malware signatures and flag or quarantine files that match these signatures. While this approach was effective against known threats, it struggled to keep pace with rapidly evolving malware. As cyber criminals become more sophisticated and began creating polymorphic and zero-day malware, signature-based detection alone was no longer enough. To get around these challenges, antivirus companies turned to machine learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence that allows software to learn from data and make predictions or decisions based on that learning. But how exactly does it work? Well, machine learning in antivirus software begins with data collection and feature extraction. Antivirus programs collect large data sets that include a variety of file attributes, behavioral characteristics, and other features that can help them to clean files apart from the malicious ones. These features may include file size, file type, code structure, API calls, network activity, and more. The quality and diversity of the data collected play a huge role in the success of machine learning models. Another important step in the machine learning process would be creating a well-labeled data set. Security experts manually classify samples of both malicious and harmless files. This labeled data set serves as the foundation for training machine learning models. It provides the models with examples of what to look for when distinguishing between good and bad files, helping them learn to recognize patterns and relationships that indicate malware. Then, these machine learning models select the most relevant features from the data set to improve efficiently and focus on the most important aspects of the malware detection. This feature selection helps reduce computational complexity and make sure that the model focuses on the characteristics that matter most in distinguishing clean files from malicious ones. Now, let's move on to the core of machine learning, which is going to be the training process. During this phase, the machine learning model is exposed to the label data set, where it learns to make distinctions between malicious and harmless files. Supervised learning techniques are often used in this case, where the model is provided with the labeled examples and adjusts its parameters to minimize the difference between its predictions and what the labels actually are. As the model is exposed to more examples, it becomes better at recognizing the patterns and characteristics that distinguish malware from legitimate files. It is this ability to learn and adapt that makes machine learning a powerful tool in the fight against malware. Now, before we move on to what exactly happens after the machine learning model is trained, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files. The Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint. Instant data leak notifications with Surfshark alert. And Surfshark alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. 
The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. All right, so after the machine learning model is trained, it undergoes a lot of testing and validation. This is done using separate data sets to value its accuracy and performance. The objective here is to minimize false positives, which are incorrectly flagged harmless files and false negatives, which are actual malware that the antivirus fail to detect. By evaluating the model's performance against new and unseen data, antivirus vendors can make sure that it can effectively identify and prevent threats in the future. Now we move on to the process of updating and retraining. Cyber threats are always evolving, with cyber criminals constantly developing new malware variants. To remain effective, antivirus software must adapt to such threats. This requires continuous updates to the machine learning models. This process is quite important for staying ahead of cyber criminals. Once a machine learning model is trained and deployed in an antivirus product, it actively scans files and processes in real time. Each file and process is evaluated and a likelihood score of being malicious is assigned. If the score surpasses a predefined threshold, the antivirus flags the file as potentially harmful. Real-time scanning is one of the most important aspects of an antivirus software, as it provides immediate protection against threats. This proactive approach is key to preventing malware from causing harm to your system or data. In addition to file analysis, machine learning can also be used for behavioral analysis in antivirus software. Behavioral analysis involves monitoring the activities and behavior of applications and processes on a system. By using machine learning models, antivirus software can detect suspicious activities that might not be captured by signature-based scanning. For example, if seemingly harmless applications suddenly showed some behavior similar to malwares, like attempting to encrypt files or establish unauthorized network connections, the antivirus can trigger an alert. This dynamic approach to threat detection adds an extra layer of security. Other than that, to improve the capabilities of antivirus software even more, some vendors implement cloud-based machine learning. In this one, the heavy computational work is offloaded to powerful cloud servers. The cloud infrastructure can process huge amounts of data and apply sophisticated machine learning models to quickly and accurately detect threats. Cloud-based detection is especially useful for handling large-scale threats and minimizing the performance impact on local systems. It allows antivirus software to benefit from the collective intelligence and expertise of a centralized cloud network. And that's basically it for today's video on antiviruses and machine learning. If you're interested in getting an antivirus that uses such mechanisms, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews in the description down below, along with some discounts. So be sure to check those out. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.